What's happening right now in the court may be the last hearing uh, that the Sumerian family has before they're facing unjust eviction from their home. Um, the, the background for the case is, is fairly straightforward. There's no controversy whatsoever that the, that the home which was built by the Sumerian family was originally owned by the Sumerian family, but due to collusion between government organizations and private organizations, uh, the, the, the government used an arcane law called the Absentee Property Law from 1950 in the aftermath of the Independence War to simply transfer the ownership of the Sumerian family of their own home which they built to the Jewish National Fund, which has then for the last 30 years been seeking to evict the family. So what we're looking at here is a classic example of the abuse of state power to persecute uh, of an innocent legal family, residents of Jerusalem, because they are Palestinian Arabs. The appeal is today. We don't know when, the, when uh, uh, an answer will be given, when a decision will be made. It theoretically could be today. It could also be some time from now. Um, it may then take uh, some more time if, God forbid, the decision is, is, uh, is, is against the family. Um, but we're looking at the possible actual eviction of, of the 18 members of the extended Sumerian family to be thrown out from their own home in the middle of the COVID-19 crisis into the street, homeless. And these are residents of Jerusalem. These are our neighbors we're talking about. Yeah. אבל הוא לא קבע קביעות לגוף העניין, האם המסמך אמיתי או לא אמיתי, אמר אולי בוא יבוא יום וניתן יהיה לבדוק את המסמך הזה. We'll now wait for a decision from the court. We don't know how long it will take them to issue a decision. And then uh, we'll decide, you know, our option is then to go to the high court.